This episode of Good Living Now is sponsored by Kuvings. Now, Kuvings has just released this amazing hands-free Auto 10 juicer. Now, one of the things that I like about the Auto 10 is that it has a super large hopper that allows you to put more produce in at one time. So you just feed the juicer, turn it on, and walk away. Now, like all Kuvings juicers, not only can you juice fruits and vegetables, but it also has extra strainers. There's one for smoothies, and then there's another one that allows you to make plant-based milks and sorbets. Now, guess what? You also have a 15-year warranty. So use my code JUICEGUY and save 10% so you can get what? Get your juice on. Welcome to the Good Living Now podcast, where we talk to real people about real change leading to real health. I'm your host, Harold LaFall, and the conversation that we're having today is going to be so powerful and so necessary, if not for nobody else, but for me. Uh, At the age of 56, you know, the whole idea of getting older is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. And I got somebody that I want to introduce you guys to who he says he's 74, but he looks like he's 54. So he's going to share with us the blueprint of what he's doing to stay so young and vibrant and at fit at not 54 at 74. So welcome to the show, Dwight Williams. Hey, hey, hey Dwight. Hey, 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 good to welcome, be here. Welcome. Welcome to the show, Dwight. How you doing, yeah. man? Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Dwight, let me tell you how I discovered you. So mm-hmm. I was on TikTok, just scrolling through TikTok, and I saw this video of this brother who now I'm 56. So, you know, I'm kind of old school. So I thought when I saw the video of you, I thought, oh, my, wow, when did Billy D. Williams get on TikTok? <laughs> you were Billy D. Williams. You know, it took me way back to Lady Sing the Blues. And I said, wait a minute, is that Billy D. Williams on TikTok? Then I looked closer and it said Dwight Williams. And I'm right. like, there must be a connection because, man, I know you get that a lot. You look just yeah. like Billy D. Williams to me. Are you related yeah. to Billy D. Williams? No, not, not that I know of. Yeah, you know, uh, and you're right. I've gotten that all, you know, all my life, uh, Billy D. Williams. And then my name is D. Williams. So, right, know, right, right, right. Yeah, listen, <laughs> I, I, let me tell you this real quick. I was in, I, I, I uh, hadn't seen my mother. This, this is a few years ago. I hadn't seen my mother in about two years. And I, I, I picked her up at the airport and mm-hmm. she got in the car and she looked at me and she said, you do look like Billy D. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so, if your mother says that. Like, right, oh. right, right. Man, you really, really do. But man, you know, what then struck me when I realized it wasn't Billy D. Williams, what then struck me was the video. And I think at that time you were 73 and you were juicing. And I'm like, yeah. now, nah, wait a minute. This brother is not 73. Somebody's telling a lie. This is, is, yeah. is not true. How is it that you look this great? Now you're 74. How right. do you look this great at 74? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, uh, Harold, this goes back to. 1959, before most of the people on, online right now it was even born. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, uh, I uh, got a horrible pain in my left side. Whenever mm-hmm. I went to go to the bathroom, I urinated. My, I had a horrible pain in my left side, and so my mother said, "You know, I had to go to school that day." And so I mm-hmm. stayed home that day. And uh, when she came home, this happened to be the last day. That you can join Cub Scouts, okay? Mm-hmm. And so I told her that I said they're gonna have Cub Scout meeting tonight. Now I, I want to go. She said you can go to school today. You can't go to Cub Scout meeting. I said, but this is the last day. And so I finally, you know, convinced her, and then I went there. And I went. I, I was scared to go to the bathroom, but I did mm-hmm. go to the bathroom. This time, blood was coming out. And oh so, wow! So then, uh, you know, we realized this is a serious. So um, th- th- to make a long story short. Um, I, my kidneys, that left kidney was shriveling. So, in, in, so from 1959 to 1967, I was in and out of the hospital, and I was able to watch what goes on in the hospital real closely as a as a, as a young boy, 10, 11 years old. 
because they I was almost invisible. You know, they didn't even pay attention to me, but I listened and I saw what was going on. And so in, uh, and they wanted to take my kidney out in, in 59. But then wow. when, I, when I went to have it taken out, it was just a little bit of function left. So they gave mm -hmm. me a, col a colostomy bag. So I had a, I didn't even know I was going to the bathroom for a year. I had a, a colostomy bag on for a year. Wow. Uh, so in 67, 1967, I'm 18. My doctor, Dr. Ronkoff, he wanted to, again, take the kidney out because he said it was continuously shriveling. Wow. And uh, I, I told him, my mother, that I didn't want to do that. I didn't, I didn't want any more surgeries. I didn't want any more. I didn't want to deal with any side effects. I didn't want any more drugs in my system. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't want to do it. And I didn't know what I was going to do, but right. I knew I didn't want to do that. And uh, so uh, that sent me, Harold, on a quest to, to, uh, to, to save my life. And, and, wow. I, and it took me to, I mean, I, I've been to Africa, Asia, all over the world. And I've been trying to find those, that, that, that secret, those, those natural way of life, those, those old secrets that, uh, right. that, that uh, old as mankind. And so, <laughs> and, and, let me tell you, and I found them. And right. uh, let me tell you this, he told me in 1967, that's almost 50, that's 56 years ago, mm -hmm. that, uh, that I was going to die if I didn't have my kidney taken out. Mm. And I still got that kidney. And wow. I got and, and you're uh, still most here. Of my, most of my doctors are dead. Right, okay. right, right. But uh, no, I'm still here. And um, so, and so I, Dwight, do I do they know what ha happened to your kidney that caused it to? They never, they, they never, they never came up with a uh, you know a reason. But right. um, I have a lot of theories about what you know. But uh, mm -hmm. no, no. And uh, so, uh, so uh, at a young age, at this young age, you had enough. Um, kind of awareness that you didn't want to be stuck on a cycle of taking pills and, you know, having surgeries. You just knew that there was a different way to allow your body to heal. But you know what? Yeah. But you know what? But it, but it was a blessing that I got mm. sick. You know why? Because mm. I wouldn't have been on this journey. Right. I, I, you know, this journey, what I was able to look at the medical field here, Western medical field very closely as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. And I knew that, um, uh, you know, and, and my doctors were great. I had good doctors, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, I just knew that um, there were other ways to, to deal with it. And it's a lifestyle. It's a it's a mindset. And, mm -hmm. and, and you know about that mindset very well. Yeah. And so uh, it's taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. looking out for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, you, you, you know, I had a, a truck driver contact me. He said, I'm on the road all the time and, and I'm always snacking on potato chips and all these. And I, I, and what can I eat? And I said, you know what to eat? The, mm. the, the food that your mother and your grandmother told you to eat. Apples, mm. God's mm. food, grapes, mm -hmm. pears, mm -hmm. water. That's what we desire. That, that, those are the, those healthy things. You know what to mm. eat. Mm -hmm. But you gotta it, 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 you gotta discipline and you gotta you gotta love yourself enough to work at it and to, to know that I want to live. And, right. Uh, uh, and so from that point, like when when you were in your teens, did you start changing your diet and what you were eating? Yeah, yeah. I watched what my I, I was watching what my what my family was eating. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of you know meat and and, uh, and drinking and all those kind of things. And I, I well, one thing Doctor Ankar told me to do, and I and I follow that till today. He said, "Well, I can tell you this: you need to drink plenty of water." And so, eighty mm percent -hmm. of what I drink is water. I just I drink water. And the mm -hmm. other 20% is the juices that I make myself. So mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what I do. And, uh, uh, but it, it works for me. And so, yeah, and it's, and it's working for you. Because, man, there's no way you look nowhere near 74. And I know you, you get that all the time. So I know a lot of people are going to want to know. So what it is that you eat like during the day? What's like a typical day of eating for you? Uh you know, I like this morning. Okay, I mean, I, I came up to my son's studio. So I mean, I I, I had uh, some juice that I made. I have a, I ate a pear because I was rushing to get here. But I, I have oatmeal a lot. I like oatmeal, steel cut mm -hmm. oatmeal. You know, and I put you know my strawberries and nuts and things in there, and uh, mm -hmm. I enjoy it because you know I because people tease me a lot. You know, when I go out, they say, "Well, he gonna have some nuts and some grapes, or you know, <laughs> they eat whatever." But uh, 
it is, um, you know, it's, it's a mindset. I uh, mm -hmm. I know how I want it. They, they may eat that food, but it, it, it lasts for two seconds, their taste. I mm. want the end result. I'm looking for the long haul. I'm going for the, you know, for the long haul, the mm -hmm. long game. You know, how am I going to feel after I yeah. eat? Yeah. Am I going to mm -hmm. feel like uh, I want to be able to do the things I've been doing all my life? I'll, right. I'll, be, I'll be 75 in June. I want to mm. be able to still bend down, pick up, do the. I, I want to. I want them to stay the same and you can if you want to right so, right you know and i've seen um uh many of my friends who uh are not in the you know the shape that i'm in and um and so uh you have to want it and you have to be disciplined and, and as you well know you have to be disciplined mm -hmm. and, uh, you can accomplish anything see right 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 and i see you your juicing game is strong i saw the juice that you were preparing for you and your wife in one video you know you had your carrots your beans right. your apples right. and uh and those things really help you to stay like really strong and and, and, yeah. and feeling good right yeah 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 it, it does it does i uh i feel like i always felt and that's how I want to continue to feel until the end. So, so people, you know, you're going to die. I said, of course, I'm going to die. The only thing we're doing is slowing it down, controlling it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, of course, I'm going to die. And uh, but I, it, it's it, this is a journey. So how am I going to be in that journey from the beginning, from 1949 when I was born until whatever date that I'm going to leave? That's the journey. I want to control that journey. God gave us this 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 planet is ours. He gave us this world, and He didn't put us out here defenseless. Mm. We got this. We got we got everything we need. The body mm -hmm. heals itself if you work with it and can, and and, and uh, communicate with it. I, as you look at my video, listen. I talk to my fingers and my toes and my knees every day. I'm I'm, I'm well acquainted with my body, and my body knows that I'm in charge. Somebody got to be the boss. I'm the right, boss. Right. Right, right. Just like, I, just like I tell my hand right now to move, my fingers to move. I can control my organs. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I learned that over in China, which I, I it's called the deep sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. Harold, uh, it, it's, it's incredible, man. I, uh, before I get out of bed, you know, when I wake up in the morning for mm -hmm. five minutes, I've trained myself. I, it's almost a trance. You know, what I, mean? I go into the deep sleep where I just relax my entire body and i can mm. i can feel from my toes my blood vessels open up all the way through and it's like a mm. it's like a scanner it's just my body is just looking for any kind of problems going on mm -hmm. and uh it, it 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 that's that it you know i tell people the only reason i started doing those videos is because people kept asking me i listen i went out to save my life Okay. Right, right, right. I'm looking out. I'm trying to say the white life, mm -hmm. and um, and so so many people ask me, "What do you do?" And so that's when I started doing the videos just to show them what I do. I, it's it's not anything complicated. It's just mm -hmm. uh, basic. Uh, the, the the things that you know that you need to do. You know, right, and, uh, right. Uh, and I just so, follow those. So when you're doing like your your morning kind of meditation, kind of scanning yeah. your body. <clears throat> If you're having any aches and pains in a particular area, what then does that? What then do you do with that information? My body, my body heals it. I, I, you know, mm -hmm. I had. Uh, I, I remember um, this is about uh, forty-five years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I, I used to have a. I had a pain. It wasn't a pain. It was just. It was pressure right mm -hmm. in the middle of my chest. Wherever I moved, I could feel it. It, it, it was like a ball right there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And um, um, my mother told me that, uh, there was stress. And so, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, she, she, you know, we, that, that deep sleep, I had to learn how to do the deep sleep and I, mm -hmm. Harold, I could feel it dissolving like that, but it took time to learn how to do it because most people mm -hmm. can't, they don't know how to relax themselves because they'll right. they they go to a, a, a certain point in it, you know, tense up. Don't tense. Don't succumb to it. That's the key. Succumb mm. to it because that's your body. That's that energy. That's that healing energy that's in you. Uh, just like when you cut your hand, you know, I mean, heal. the body heals itself if you work with it and communicate mm. and get in tune with it. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's incredible. You know this. Listen, I this phenomenon called life is absolutely incredible, and I, I mm-hmm. mean every every second is a blessing for me. You know, and so mm-hmm. uh, you know I I have a routine that I just follow every day, and uh, and, and it's not. It's not like everybody around me follows it, you know. They mm-hmm. they uh, they're starting to, you know, what I mean? because they because they the- see you, because they see you. They like look at him. He out there doing pull ups and push ups, and they see right. your right. your skin got is all tight, looking like you're fifty. They want they want to know what it is that you're doing. Right, right, and uh, so uh, but I uh, I listen. I've enjoyed every every minute, and uh, so I I tell people I'm sure my goal is to live to be a hundred. To, but I, I don't want to be, I want to, I don't want to be feeble. I want to be able to do the same thing I'm right. doing right now. When I was 50, they said, you're not going to be able to do this when you're 60, do the pull-ups and stuff. And when I was 60, they said, you're not going to be able to do it when you're 70. Now they say, I guess you will be able to do it. Do I <laughs> you know, so I can do it when I'm 85, you know, 95. And so I tell people, stay with me and see. Most of you right. are younger, so you'll be able to, to see it. You'll Witness be able to see it, you know, right. to see if I can make it for another 25, 26 years. Now, there was one thing that you were doing in one of your videos that I had never seen before. I think you call it dry rubbing. What, dry, what is that? The dry wash. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Dry yeah, wash. Yeah. What is what is yeah. that? Yeah, I, I I do that every day. You know, I, 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 I dry wash that whole, stimulate the whole body. You know what I mean? My arms, my legs, my thighs before I get started. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Uh, my feet, to everything. You know, the dry wash. I, and then some people and what does say, that well, do? And what does that help you? It stimulates my, it gets my blood vessels stimulated. You know, mm-hmm. and some people ask me, they say, well, you can get a much, you, know, you can get a, a, an apparatus to do that. And I said, you right. can, you know what I mean? But let me tell you, there's nothing like your hands, your fingers know when you're touching it, your mm-hmm. body. Okay. Okay. You, I could talk to you right now. Like we, we, we're talking right now, but mm-hmm. this is the next thing to, to be in person. There's nothing like being in person when I can see Harold. And we can right. shake hands and hug and, and, right. and, and you know, but that's the same thing as far as my body. I can get a machine, mm-hmm. you know, an apparatus, but when, when my fingers are touching my body, my body knows it. Right. You, you know, yeah. and so I, I that's because before I do push-ups or anything, I, I have to do that. I can't just jump down and start doing those push-ups. I gotta prepare the body. That, that's what I, I prepare the my body every day for what we're gonna experience. I let it know that's I, I'm talking to it, that's how I communicate. I'm mm-hmm. telling it. I said, you know, we're gonna be doing some push-ups today, my brother. You know, man. I mean, <laughs> okay, you know, and we in this together. Okay, there's one for all and all for one. Like right. my my, my kidney, I just talked to my kidney, my left kidney. I said, listen, mm-hmm. all of us are dependent on you. Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> the right kidney, my heart, the stroke, mm-hmm. a- a- every every organ, we dependent on you. Okay, right. and every organ know that you're sick. You know what I mean? And mm. it's a problem. You know what I mean? And everybody's scared, but we want to work together. The brain know everybody, every aspect of my body knew that that left kidney was in trouble. And mm. so uh, I've got to do um, what it takes to, uh, to, to to heal it, to slow it down, to stop that deterioration. And um, right. and so, I yes, I was very conscious about, and I watched with my friend when I was young. I watched what my friends were eating, their family, my family. I'm watching. I'm studying mm-hmm. because I, I was out here by myself. I said, wait a minute, because my mother and my family thought I was absolutely crazy. The doctor said, <laughs> you need to do this, and you're not going to do this. What, what, are you, what are you going to do? And But Harold, let me tell you, it never, ever fazed me. I never had any mm-hmm. apprehension about any of it. And I think because I was accustomed to being in the hospital from you know seven or eight years, from 59 mm-hmm. to 67, and uh, I... I and I, they told me I, I've been hearing about death. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna. This happens. This, if you do do this, you know, we're gonna take the kidney. You're gonna die. Mm-hmm. You know. And so, uh, I depending. I, I looked at the, the God gave. I, I believe in God, and and, mm-hmm. and the Spirit was with me, and uh, and uh, so I never looked back. I never had any apprehension whatsoever. I didn't know what mm-hmm. I was gonna do, uh, but. Uh, and uh, and it just so happened that I was able to go to uh, Africa. I mean, I've been to Africa, mm. uh, Ni- uh, Nigeria, Liberia, uh, the Ivory Coast. I've been all through there. But 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 business has taken me that way. You know, I was mm-hmm. able to incorporate my business and at the same time 
learn about what I'm trying to find out, even going into uh, Africa, I mean, into uh, China and uh, all throughout the Caribbean. You know, I, mm -hmm. I used to bring water. Let me tell you, <laughs> I imported water from Guadeloupe uh, in the French Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, where I brought it back uh, to the East Coast. Uh, so I, I had I had it, uh, it's called D water. I had it, uh, <laughs> this is in the 90s. In the oh, wow. 90s, late 90s. Uh, and in Baltimore, Washington area, it was the number one water in Baltimore in maybe 2000. You know, uh, I had it's called D water. I have a picture on it. And oh, wow. Then, <laughs> then I was uh, 40, I think, on there. I had that on the label. I said at, 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 um, at 50, uh, I feel 40 or something like that because that's that uh -huh. like 25 years ago. I can't believe right. it. Wow. But yeah, but uh, uh, but um. Uh, they, then that's when Coca Cola and all of them started getting into the water business. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so uh, it was hard to compete with them. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, every everything I've done going overseas, I brought back. When I uh, was in Africa, I learned about eating food. You know, mm -hmm. eating uh, the right kind of foods. And so I opened up uh, uh, in in 1979 or 80, 1980. Mm -hmm. I opened up uh, the first. African, not African American, the first African fast food restaurant in the world at Harbor Place in Baltimore. Oprah, Oprah Winfrey was one of the first people at the restaurant. But oh but wow, the, the restaurant was uh, at at the mall, and it was uh, restaurants from around the world. So we it opened in 1980, mm -hmm. and uh, we started in 1979 the building it. But it but it had maybe 80 restaurants in there. You know, Indian, Chinese, you know, everybody. Okay. Right, right. And, I, and I had the African restaurant, uh -huh. and uh, it was called the African Queen. And uh, so, uh, so I brought that back because I learned about how to eat right. I brought mm. the the water from uh, Guadeloupe because I, I, I knew the importance of of water. You know, mm. and um, and then in China, I brought back you know the deep sleep and what I've learned from there. So I, I tried to bring everything I ever learned back to. Mm. Uh, to to America where I live at, but uh, you know, um, but I actually did it all for selfish reasons. I was trying to save the White Williams' life. I know that's know. right. So I know, know that. I, I want to come back to to the foods that you eat because I, I think that it's uh, important just to for people just to have a like a clear kind of picture of of what's possible. So you said you you know you you eat a, a lot of oatmeal and a lot of fruits and vegetables. I uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I eat baked. Uh, I eat, I eat baked chicken and I eat big uh, mm -hmm. baked fish. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, I, uh, it's all vegetables. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. and I and 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 um, I I, uh, I tell people that uh, 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 that is the most important thing is uh, eating. Uh, it's not complicated. You know, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, greens and, and and string beans and. Uh, I have baked potatoes, you know. Uh, so you don't I, eat any processed foods, like no, 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 no. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Right, the processed is out. No, no. Okay. No, uh, and what get, about and what about like sodas? Do you drink any sodas or anything like that? No, I only drink water and okay. the juices that I make. And I, I have smoothies sometimes. I make smoothies, uh, but no, that's all. Uh, I, I, you know, it's uh, I know it sounds silly to to, to some people, but I. Um, I think that uh, if I drink a soda, you know, I, my, my, my kidney, I don't think I can handle it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I couldn't handle a soda, you know, so right. no. Uh, uh, um, um, carbonated water, I can't, anything carbonated, I can't drink. Mm -hmm. I don't drink. And, and I don't drink it because of, you know, my- How it makes you feel. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. And so I don't, and another thing I tell people, if your body rejects something, I think the the, the 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 worst thing you can do is try to get a pill to make yourself right, right, right. right. Your body yeah. is telling you, Dwight, I don't want this. Don't do this. Listen to your body. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I always say that pain is information. You know, our body yes. is always giving us yes. feedback. That's how they a lot of times, it. yeah, we don't listen. We don't pay attention to it. Yeah, you have to. I, I, I listen to my body, and my body listens to me. And so, mm -hmm. no. Uh, absolutely right. Pain is how it's communicating, you know? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely.
And so an another thing that you do is you exercise regularly. I saw you doing pull-ups and push-ups. I don't even yeah. think I can do as many pull-ups as, as you. So what yeah. what does your like your daily workout? Or how often do you work out? And kind of what are some of the things? Every that day, you do? I do it every day. Every day? every day, every day. And then when people say, you know, go to, you do this two to three times a week. No, no, no. Listen, as you get older, you got to do it more because it gets a little more difficult because the body. Yeah. Aging is synonymous with deterioration. The body's deteriorating. Yeah. yeah, it's deteriorating. So you you got to try to retain muscle and and, and build muscle. You know, so uh, I have to do it every day. So I do, uh, you know, I I I, 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 I de massage. You know, uh, my joints. You know, mm -hmm. I, I do my joints first. All my joints, mm -hmm. elbows, shoulders, knees. Mm -hmm. Take a couple a minute or two. You know, a couple of minutes, and then I do the dry wash. I wake it up. I say, all right. You know, and I talk to my body. I say, what's up? Mm. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I talk. You know what I mean? And my toes, everything. Then I do, I probably, but, but let me tell you, the, the real secret is that I really work out about two or three o'clock in the morning. You know, mm. I, I wake up, you know, uh, I wake up and if I can't sleep, I know why I can't sleep because the body is telling me you didn't move me enough. You say you want to work out and, and my body tells you what to, you know, it, it works as a team, you know? Mm. And so uh, a lot of times when I can't sleep, I know what it is. I, I got to go downstairs. So I go down and I, I might do 50, 60, 70 push-ups. I might do pull-ups, I might do 20, 30 pull-ups. And I might do some squats. And uh, then uh, I'm ready to go back to sleep. My so so wait a minute. So you just dropped something there. So a lot of people suffer with insomnia. So yeah. you're saying when you're not able to sleep, you know that it's because you have not... You know, work right. your body. Wow. Right, 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 right. The body wants to move, and you have moved it. You know what? Everything that think think about the sun. The sun mm -hmm. don't is it, that's the sunshine is coming. It's it's blowing up. Is you know bubbling. Every it never stops. Mm -hmm. You can't stop. Mm -hmm. If that sun stopped for one second, we'd be gone. I mean, this earth don't ever stop. It's spinning. You can't stop. Keep mm -hmm. going. No, every day, every day, it's got to become a part of you. Your routine. It's got. To, it's, it's your life. You know. So that's my life. So I, uh, and I, you know, and and I tell, look, they do, they do, uh, uh, twenty push-ups. What is it? Twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. That's twenty mm -hmm. seconds. You make twenty seconds. Do it. That's all it is. And, and uh, you know, a. Uh, some pull ups 20 seconds so you might end up i might end up spending you know uh 10 minutes uh giving myself what it needs mm -hmm. moving you know get that body moving and uh and you can't overeat people like to overeat i, I you, mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. and and even as you get older you got to the body the organs uh, you got to relax them these organs have been going but I'm going to be 75. My heart is my Harold. My heart has been doing this 74 years non stop, never stops, just keeps going. And so, you've got to not overstress it with food and cake and ice cream and beer. Right. I, mean, I mean, you know, and I don't, you know, if that's what you want to do, it's fine. But in the night, times I tell people, I said. And, and and if they're uh, you know they're 50, 60, and I said, but been there, done that. You already did it. Mm -hmm. you, do some, you know, you already, you know, I have so many friends. You know, I have to tell you, I have so many friends who've had you know problems with uh, over the years with drugs and and etc. Family members, and I and I tell them, I said that, you know, you experienced when you were younger, and I understand that, but at 65, 70. I, I don't, you can't keep, you, you, you're going to destroy the body. Okay. And to show you how magnificent this body is, it can take all of that coffee, beer, smoke, cigars, you know, cake, ice cream, you know, and it keeps, it keeps going because it don't want to die. It wants right. to keep going. So, yeah. Harold, what you've learned and I learned, if I work with it, it's even better. Why well, wait? To, you know, if I work with it, you know, and 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 uh, oh, it's. I mean, I, yeah. I, 
this uh, it's I listen, you're talking to the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Dwight, what would you say to someone who may be 50 or 60 years old who um wants to get healthier, never has really worked out, has not really eaten healthy. How, how would you suggest they start? Slowly and um, uh, work with their mind first, you know, letting, you know, determining what it is that you want to do, how you want to live the remaining part of your life. You know, and mm. once you determine, I, whether you really want to be healthy, whether you want to be uh, strong. Uh, I've had family members, uh, you know, my sister and brother, used, they told me that I don't want to live to be in my 70s or 80s. Mm. And um, and I, I couldn't understand why. And Harold, they didn't. Mm. You know, both of them are gone. And mm. uh, they, because you will what you want, okay? Mm. They didn't want to be here and they left. Okay, I want to be here. So that what I would say to anybody like that, the first thing is to determine what do you really want. Mm -hmm. You just want to go, uh, you know, you know, just uh, you know, just let it by whim, just go with it, or do you want to really try to stay healthy and, and be able to do all the things you've been doing, bending down, picking up. I don't want to have my grandkids. Can you pick that paper up for me? You know, I want to be mm -hmm. a bit myself. Because I've been, because that's all I know. I've been doing it. And what happens is when people get older and they didn't, and they and they, and they slip, and uh, they realize they, you know, I don't, I, I want to be able to wipe myself. I want to take care of myself. You know, right. And so you got to determine, and it's frightening. It gets to be scary. You have to wait a minute. You know, uh, and but I say you, you can live your life and be as strong, uh, you know, as possible. And old, okay. So right, right, right. You, the first thing is in the mind. You got to know what you want to do. If you want to do it, then then you can do it, because uh, it's never too late. Because the body will respond to anything. Because just like uh, everything is repetition, you know. I'm going, I'm going to lift weights. The the arm's not gonna, that muscle's not gonna come overnight. But if you keep doing it, the arm gonna say, "Oh, you you want to bulk up? Oh, okay. It's, it sees that you for real. You got it. You can't fool yourself." You, right. you know, the body says, oh, and then if you start working out and you stop, then you're going to start feeling, oh, ain't you on the, because your body said, you said you want to work out, let's go. And then you want to mm -hmm. go to the, to the club, but the body says, but you said you want to work out. And then you start mm -hmm. to feel it. Yeah, you, you need to, you got to work out. Your body, you already told it what to do. The body will do anything. Harold, I found out the body will do anything you tell it to do. Anything. Yeah. And I told my body, I want to be healthy. I don't, and, 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 you know, that, listen, the last time I had my, my, my kidney checked, I'm mm -hmm. not going to even tell you what year it was. It's a long time ago. <laughs> they said that my kidney was the size of a nickel, the left mm. kidney, and it was 50% function in the right. Okay. Mm. And, uh, they, um, you know, when I went to have that test done, they were not, they weren't familiar with me. I was just having a test done and they looked, they had it on the x-ray and they looked, and these were the technicians. They looked at the x. They looked at the uh, the uh, X-ray and they looked at me. Looked at the X-ray, and I knew what you know. I knew what they were looking. They couldn't find out. They were looking. They didn't it's see the right what they, they didn't right. Know. But that shows you that God gives you enough. Mm. Enough. That's that's all I needed. Was that mm. everything else is surplus? You know. What I mean? So that's all I needed. And let me tell you, Harold. I don't want to. I, I've been. I'm embarrassed to tell you how long ago that was. Mm. It, 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 that was, uh, uh, you know, in the 20th century. Put it that way. <laughs> wow. In the 20th century, and I, 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 my mother used to say, "When are you going to go to the doctor?" And I said, "But I feel fine. I mean, what? Right. You know, I feel fine. I, you know. Uh, and um, so yeah. So I've just been keeping on steady." on that same course just and uh when that time comes for me to go i'm gonna go mm. and uh, so but until then i'm gonna be right here demassaging eating <laughs> juicing stretching up, stretching <laughs> well, yes yeah, so, so, so dwight i gotta tell you this about stretching so 
I recently did a 21 day kind of health reset. And, you know, I, I, I normally go to the gym all the time. And um, I have been going to the gym a little more and doing a little more. But I had been feeling so good that I had forgot to stretch. And man, I remember seeing one of your videos and you say that, you know, the first thing you should do in the morning is stretch your body. And that is so true. Even if you think you're in shape, I had to remind myself I'm still 56. And I went to, I was going to the gym and I ended up messing up my back and I yeah. could not move because yeah. I was not stretching my body before, yeah. you know, going to the gym or just even before you leave the house, because we're constantly yeah. moving and that stretching yeah. is so important. W what types of stretching do you recommend people do? Like when you say stretching, people don't really know kind of, okay, well, what am I supposed to do in the morning? Well, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, I, I've been, I, I, uh, I do squats, you know what I mean? I do mm. 60 squats a day. I, I do 30, 30 squats in the, uh, in the morning, 30 at night, you know, uh, but they go, they go on, on, on my website and, and see, uh, you know, a lot of the stretching, but I, I wanted to hit on the point that you just said there where it's very important about the stretching. I, I, uh, about seven or eight years ago, it was a guy, he was doing a one arm pull up. And I said, wow. And I was doing pull-ups, but I never did one arm. And I, and I tried to do that, Harold. And my arm was sore for four years. Mm. I felt that. I mean, it I don't even know if it's, it's even recuperated now. It's not. It hasn't totally ever. Re and it probably never will. So you've got to be. So you can't do things that you, you're not accustomed to doing. That's why I say do it right. slowly. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and stretching and preparing yourself. Uh, uh, especially when you get older, you got to prepare yourself and stretch <laughs> and just, just, you know, just those yeah, basics, move. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you've got to do all those stretches uh, before because that's how you communicate. With the, that's how you tell the body what to do. You know, you're, right. you're, you're the head and, you, and it's a partnership. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't just say, you know, you got to, this is what we're going to be doing, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, yeah. and moving it and, and getting it ready. Yeah, you know, getting it ready. And uh, you can't just uh, jump out there and do it, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And so, Dwight, you've been married for over 50 years. 50 years, yeah. you have four kids. Yeah. Does your wife, does she eat the same way, do the same kind of yeah. work? Is, yeah. Is, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, uh, it, it, it's been... Uh, uh, slower but she does the same thing i do you know we mm -hmm. we we on the same uh same uh same page mm -hmm. and because the thing is i, I was telling i said because if you get sick and you got uh, i got sick okay so mm -hmm. i gotta we gotta keep each other healthy because she likes to walk more than i do so she makes me walk mm -hmm. i i don't uh because um you know, so uh, we we may walk like three three and a half miles when we, when we go out to the park. I love walking out in the park, but she got she really got me to doing uh, going to the park, and I got her doing pull ups, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and push ups, and uh, and sometimes uh, and, and and my uh, my children um, are uh, beginning to do it also, but they're not as uh, you know diligent as I am. But they, yeah, uh, they, but listen. The old, but I don't I don't say anything to them because I know right. that as right. time goes by, they have no choice. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> the body will tell them, and they're gonna see me. And they go, oh yeah. So they 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 they're coming on. They're coming on. Yeah, that's and the same I, as with my son. You know, he he eats the way he eats, but he sees. You know, he yeah. sees the example. So yeah. you know, yes. when he's yes. ready, yeah, yes. when he's ready, you know. And, and that's the most important thing is the example because I my my grandkids they mm -hmm. um. They watch. I don't have to tell them. They're just watching. Right. You. They're watching mm -hmm. you. They're watching you to see if you really real. And and so yeah, they, right. they uh, yeah, my, they they'll come into my house and the first thing they do is they want some juice. You know, they go, mm -hmm. you, know, you got some juice. Yeah, they, they want the <laughs> juice. Yeah, and so yeah. So so yeah. Dwight, you've created a community for baby boomers, and it's yeah. like an accountability group or tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, and 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 and, and Harold, what's shocking is that I have more uh, Generation X and Millennials than baby boomers. You oh know? wow! Because I guess they 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 see you know what what's what's necessary. But yeah, I, I just 
go into more detail about what I do and, and they see what I do. And um, on our on my on, on the website, it's called These Baby Boomers uh, VIP. And uh, and I tell people to come become a VIP member. And uh, so it um, uh, I just go into, um, you know, they get a more closer gotcha. uh, um, look at uh, Dwight. And uh, and what, what what's I the do. website again? What's it's um, it's the letter D D S baby boomers dot VIP. Cause those are very important people. Come on now. <laughs> D, D baby boomers dot VIP. <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> and uh, um, and, and it's just amazing, uh, Harold, because you get people from all over the world. Is this, uh, mm. you know, that uh, I, I I had a gentleman in um, in Eastern Europe, and he said that he's never seen a a, a male in his seventies that was walking. He said they're mm. all in wheelchairs or uh, walkers, you know. And he said I've never seen it. I said, wow, I mean. So that that was uh, well, man. Was well, Dwight, man, you are the blueprint for me. You are the goat. You have given me inspiration. You know, I mean, because I think as we get older, it's so important for us to see examples. And so, yeah, now I have yeah. an example of what seventy four can look like for me. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Man, I appreciate yeah. you, man. Keep on doing your thing, and you are a true inspiration to to so many people, especially. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. have definitely given given me a blueprint to let me know that yeah we all are going to get older we all are gonna you know aging is a normal process we don't have to get old we don't have to be yeah. you know not mobile we don't have to right. be you know dependent on other people to take care of us right if we take care of our bodies we right can right live right. a full life we can live right. a full life and and right. have all of our faculties working so man yeah. thank you so much thank you for all you do and thank you for yeah. being an example of how to age gracefully and still have power so I yeah, appreciate yeah, you, man. Yeah, you know. yeah. All right. Enjoy your life. All right. Enjoy yours.